I just look so pale. Look at me. I look, I'm literally the color of the walls. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Alex Steven. I am a real estate agent slash investor in the Nashville, Tennessee market. And this is a channel where I share a lot of my tips and tricks when it comes to real estate investing and a little glimpse into my life. If you're here, it's very likely you got here because of one video on my channel, this one right here. And if that's the case, you want to continue watching this because it has been two full years since we finished the ultimate insane garage conversion that as you can see, I am sitting in right now. And today I want to update you guys on everything that has happened in those two years. Some of those things I wanna update you on is yes, of course, how much money we have been able to make in the last two years renting this place out as an Airbnb. And the other not so exciting thing that I would like to update you guys on is yes, you saw it probably in the thumbnail or title, the regrets we had doing this garage conversion and what are some of the things we would change if we could go back and do it differently. If you're watching this video and you are thinking about doing the same exact thing with your garage or basement or extra space that you have, you can learn from some of our regrets and see what you should probably decide to do before you start that renovation. We're gonna get into all of that right now. But first things first, I need to address the haters. In my most viewed video, which is the ultimate garage conversion video, um, tons, or not tons, a handful of people are on there just commenting that they could do this for $10,000 and that I got ripped off and that the contractor who did this job um, went running straight to the bank, whatever. And my only rebuttal, I'm just gonna say this once, is I want those people to buy the house next to me, then I want them to convert the garage of the house next to me, and I want you to do it for $10,000. If you can do that, I will man up, and I will admit that I got ripped off. If you can't do that, then that's on you. All right, enough of that. So let's talk money. One of the things that I had initially projected in the very beginning before we even got our first booking on Airbnb was how much money do you think we were gonna make on this project? How much money did I think we were gonna make every single year on this project? My initial projection when I posted that video was thirty dollars to $36,000 a year. Now, if you existed in this world and are aware of 2020, and if you're not, I mean, I don't know what to say. Yes, something major happened in 2020 that probably rocked so many of our worlds, and that is, yes, you heard it right, the So we had to pivot quickly and decide what we were gonna do, and in those months that we were shut down, we actually ended up booking our Airbnb to a tenant for three to four months. So in our very first full year through Airbnb, our actual gross amount that we generated was $17,300. That was strictly through Airbnb. We had a tenant for about, I believe it's four months, and that was an additional $1,300 to $1,400 every single month. So roughly in the year 2021, we made right around $21,000 to $22,000. So yes, we were a little bit shy of our initial projection, but it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Now, we got back on the market in August of 2020 after things started to settle down a bit, if you can even say that, and things started to pick back up as far as the short-term rental market goes. So 2021 rolls around, we start to get more and more bookings, things are starting to look positive. We actually ended up grossing $38,726 for the year of 2021. And as you can see, it more than covered our initial projection of how much this garage conversion would bring in every single year through Airbnb. This entire project cost us $60,000 roughly, 55 to $60,000. 
and we were able to entirely make our money back in two years. And that included a national global pandemic. So that is insane and one of the most beautiful things about real estate. So if you do the math, yes, that is right. We made basically $60,000 in the first two years of doing Airbnb. So yeah, we definitely recouped our initial investment back. And yes, every single bit of money that we generate through this now is completely cash flow. And with that being said, our projections for 2022 are low looking very, very positive, even compared to 2021. My projections for 2022 are in the 40 to $46,000 range, which destroys my initial projection of 30 to $36,000 range when we first started this project. Overall, this investment has been incredible. Our reviews are very, very positive. The people that stay in our Airbnb love to stay here. We always get great, great feedback. And it's something that Sarah and I both are very proud to have and very proud to host people in. But with that being said, are there any regrets that we have doing this project that if we could go back, we would do again? And the answer is yes. Yes, there are. But there's no time machine. We can't go back. We can't go back and do things. But what we can do is help you guys make a better decision, especially if you're looking to do exactly what we did, and that is convert a literal garage into a masterpiece. What are our regrets that we have that if we could go back, we would change. I have three of them. The first one is I wish we would have installed a washer dryer when we first started doing this project. Now, the initial thought process was that yes, we were going to be Airbnb being this. It's not going to be super demanding to have a washer dryer and we just decided not to do it, obviously also because of the limited space that we have. But once the pandemic hit and we had to get a long-term tenant, it would have been a lot more convenient and also would have helped us get a little bit more rental income on the long-term rental market had we had a washer dryer in here. And not only that, it would also have helped maintenance when you're turning over an Airbnb, having the washer dryer in the unit itself, putting linens, washing, all that versus taking it into another house another washer dryer, hauling it from one place to another, it just kind of gets a little inconvenient at that point. The second thing I wish we would have done differently is installed a window for the upstairs loft. That is just kind of a aesthetic and logistical thing too, is putting a window in the upstairs loft. Um, one, it provides another form of egress. We have a fire extinguisher up there, um, but it also would have brought in some more natural light to that area, ventilation, all that stuff. Um, and looking back, it would have been nice if we could have put a small window up there. And the last thing that I wish we would have done before we got started, and this is something that I tell every single person that reaches out to me about converting a garage through Instagram, through YouTube. Um, I have several people several times a week message me saying, hey, we're gonna convert our garage, any tips, advice, anything like that. And the one thing I always tell them is, one, hire an architect, and two, most importantly, hire a structural engineer. Now, we hired a structural engineer, but it was basically after all the framing was done, and if we had done it before, it would have saved me a little bit more money and had been able to just get it all done on the front end. But a structural engineer is going to help you make the proper modifications to your garage structure that is not meant to be lived in. You will need modifications more than likely and a structural engineer will definitely give you the proper advice, especially when it comes to the legal um, building codes in your area. But anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Those are my updates for the last two years on how we have been doing in our Airbnb and garage conversion. And of course, those are the regrets that I have, the biggest regrets I have when it comes to what I wish we would have done in the very beginning. And hopefully that advice helps you guys 
make a better decision when you're going to approach a project like this. And hopefully the financial um, information also helps you decide whether or not it will be worth it on your end. Uh, for us, it was totally worth it and it has been a amazing income producing property for us. With all that being said guys, if you are visiting the Nashville area and would like to stay in the Nash Villa as we like to call it, there's a link in the description below for our Airbnb, feel free to book it. We book three months in advance so if you are trying to look for dates within the three months, it's very likely they are all gone. Book quick, make sure you do it, and let us know, especially if you have watched our video on YouTube and you book our place, I would love to know that. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below or shoot me a message on Instagram. I'm always on there, always active. So that's it. I'm out of here.